Hello everybody, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and I am back with a very interesting video because Canada has just made a very big announcement. Yes, the government of Canada has just announced its multi-year immigration levels plan and they have announced that in the next 3 years, 23, 24 and 25, they will be targeting around 1.5 million PR admissions. Yes, you heard that number right. Earlier we used to hear about 1 million, now the number has shot up to around 1.5 million. In this video, we will be talking in detail about this big, big announcement. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so the thing is that every year, the government announces the immigration plans for the next three years depending on the demand, the labor shortage in their country, whatever the projections are. So similarly, Canada has announced the projections for the next three years, 2023, 24 and 25. And the good thing is that the numbers have increased. Earlier this year, in 2022, they actually announced the plan for 22, 23 and 24. And the two years, 23 and 24, are actually common in both the, uh, both the plans. But you will definitely see a significant increase in both the years 23 and 24. So, the numbers say that in next year, 2023, there will be around 465,000 PR admissions, which is 4.65 lakhs. The year after that, in 2024, it would be around 485,000. 4.8 lakh and in the next year after that in 2025 it's going to be iconic because then they would be targeting for 500,000 PR admissions in just one year. Every year they increase it but reaching up to a level of 500,000 is actually a landmark that probably until a few years ago nobody would have even thought of. And of course, if you add these numbers from next three years, it would be around 1.45 million, not exactly 1.5, but yes, very close. Now we'll discuss the detailed table, the plan that they have chalked out for the next three years. Uh, and we'll also compare it from the last announcement, which was made, I think earlier this year for 23 and 24. But let me make it very clear that this is not for student visa or work permit or uh, even tourist visa. This is specifically for PR admissions. Now, why is this a, a good news for all those people who are waiting in the express entry pools? Because of course, when we have a bigger quota for uh, uh, next year, let's say for 2023, if you talk about that year, then of course, if the quota is bigger, then you could see more draws or maybe even bigger draws. But of course, you have to remember that next year, they are planning for the tier system as well. So the big changes that I've talked about previously in earlier videos, I'm not going to repeat it all over again in this video. But yes, next year is going to be very, very interesting. But for this video, we'll just keep our discussion to the immigration level plans for the next three years. Let's discuss the details that they have announced today. Okay, so this is the detailed breakdown of 2023 to 25 immigration levels plan. I've also got the 2022 to 24 immigration level plan which was released earlier this year so we can easily compare the two plans so overall planned pr admissions for 2023 were 447000 and for 2024 it was 451000 and now it has been increased to 465000 and 485000 and of course as i told you the magical number is here in 2025 when they would target 500000 pr admissions in one year every year they are setting new records okay if you talk about the detailed breakdowns they have mentioned these different categories here and if you want to know the details of this so you can actually scroll down and details have been mentioned here so the first one is for the express entry program where we would get three different categories and for this we can clearly see that the number has been increased to around 83,000. And this is for 2023. Earlier it was between 75 to 76,000 and now it has significantly increased to around 83,000. Very interesting thing to note here is that this is the target. There are low ranges and the high ranges as well. So ideally their plan would be to at least achieve this number and if they can go high, they can go high up to this number, not above this, which is 88,000 even better. 
Now, the interesting thing to note here is about the second point, which is federal economic public policies. This is the one about TR to PR. So their old plan said that this would be 32,000 in 2023. And the new plan says that it would only be around 25,000. So which means that they have processed more applications in 2022. And of course, this was just a one time policy. So after 2023, after all the applications have been finalized, you won't see any of this in 2024 or 25. And all of this number would be getting added to this in the next years after 2023, which means that these numbers would swell up even further and we would get something around 109,000 and 114,000 federal high skilled admissions in 2024 and 25 respectively. Now, when we talk about the PNP program, they have also increased this number significantly. Now the target for 2023 is 105,000 and earlier it was declared to be 86,000. It's a very good increase. This year we have seen bigger PNP draws and hopefully we would see similar draws in the next year as well. Now I'm not going to talk about the refugee and the humanitarian sections but I'm very interested in talking about the family section as well because here I've spotted something really strange. They've actually reduced the number for spouses, partner and children. So now in the new plan, for 2023 is 78,000 and earlier it was 81,000. However, it remains same for parents and grandparents. The overall number obviously decreases by 3,000. Of course, in the years to come in 2024 and 25, they would increase it slightly from 78 to 80 and then to 82. And similarly for parents and grandparents, they would increase to 34,000 and 36,000 respectively. But all in all, apart from these numbers for spouses, we all should be really happy with the new plans for 2023, 24 and 25. These numbers have shot up significantly and it is definitely a good news for all of us. All right guys, I'm really sure that this would bring smiles to many people who were kind of losing their hopes. The Canadian dream is still alive and I'm sure that if you work hard to achieve that dream, nothing is impossible. Thanks a lot for watching this video.